Suppose circle C is centered at the origin and then goes through that point. So if we're centered at the origin, the origin is 0, 0, and that's our center. So in our equation, that's our hk. Remember, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we just need to find r. That's the radius. And I'm going to draw this out so we can visualize where we're at. Okay, we have, here's our center. And then we have this point, negative 8 square root 3. Is it negative 8 again? Yeah. Okay, so that's right here. So see how negative 8 squared of 3 is actually equivalent to negative 13.8? So we have a point out here at negative 8 squared of 3 and negative 8. And it go, your circle goes through that, and then it goes around. So if we draw a line from the center out to that point, that's the length of the radius, and that's what we want to find. So this is where we're going to use the distance formula. Actually, I'm going to just move that lower. So distance is x2 minus x1 squared, y2 minus y1 squared. So I like to label my points x1, y1, x2, y2. And then we're just plugging it in the formula. So x2 is 0. X1 is negative 8 squared of 3. Oops, not the plus 0 minus negative 8. And I'm going to just put that whole thing in the calculator. Minus, minus. So my radius is 16. But remember, in my formula, it's r squared. So 16 squared is going to be 256. And then this is x minus 0, y minus 0, which goes to x squared plus y squared. And again, I really want you to get used to checking your answers when you're doing circles. And we can see it's centered at 0, 0 and goes through that point.